Hi guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I have a very exciting video for you guys today. I am going to be making over my primary bedroom. Overall, my room has transformed beautifully and I am absolutely obsessed. It actually feels like home. When we first moved into the house, we kind of just uh, threw our stuff in the room, old stuff that we had from the old house and we just kind of left it there. It's been two years. So I think it was about time to make our house feel like home and get our bedroom super cozy. I'm excited to show you guys what we did and I hope you enjoy. So let's get into the video. I have these two nightstands from a long time ago. My mom actually gave them to us when we first moved into our first home. They were a wood color and I painted them white. I did not do a very good job. And you can see that all the holes that I filled from the previous handles, I just threw it together and I hate it. So I'm gonna redo this and make it look more like it's one set, sort of like a sideboard or a credenza. I'm taking off all of the pieces that make the nightstands look different from each other because they are slightly different. This one's more ornate, the other one's more flat and um, doesn't have as many embellishments. So um, taking this stuff off definitely helped it look like it was one unit. Now I have some trim from some other projects that I wanted to add to the top of this just to make it look like the top of it belongs to the makeshift credenza. Then I'm going to try to fill all of the holes, nooks and crannies so that the whole thing looks smooth. And then I'm putting some particle board on the bottom to make it look like it all is one unit. I also added some particle board in between because there was a small gap. And the most important part, sanding down all of that wood filler. Now I got this chalky finish paint from Lowe's. I wanted them to do a black color and after everything dried I realized that it was actually more of a blue. But as you guys can see at the end here, it all came together and it looked good. I'm not mad about the blue color. I think it looks good with the rugs that I chose. Overall, I'm in love. Love it. And it looks so much better, this color, besides the ugly white. <laughs> I don't even know what I can call that white paint job. That was just terrible. All right, the time has come. I want to put on some knobs. I got these from TJ Maxx. This is a set of six cabinet knobs. They're this kind of brassy color. I liked how simple they were. And they were only $13, $12.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they're so cute. I think they'll look so pretty on this, don't you think? So now I'm gonna move on to the headboard. This has been long awaited. So this bed frame was from the previous owners of our first house. So no telling how old it is, probably from the 70s. I don't mind it, but I wish that I could see more of the headboard when I put on pillows. So my husband and I made our own headboard. We did a fabric headboard with a curtain that I got from Goodwill and some really cheap wood from Lowe's. I think overall for this whole headboard project, it was about $50, so not bad at all. If you guys know how much a headboard is for a king size bed, oh, it's terrible. So I think it came out beautifully. I got this foam from Martin's, which is a surplus supply store. It was only $16, so perfect. So I got some of this filmed, but unfortunately my camera ended up dying and did not film the rest of the fabric. So I will be linking a video for you guys if you're interested in doing that. Now this nightstand that I had on my husband's side was one that I got for free at a yard sale. So it's not the prettiest, but it does the trick. 
So I wanted to add some of that blue paint to the top and stain the legs just to give it a more cohesive feel with the rest of the room. And I think it came out pretty good. Now I do wish that we had a little bit more storage for him on his side, but maybe eventually we will find something secondhand with some drawers or storage. But for now, this definitely does the trick. Now I know you guys have seen the viral um, vases that are sort of cement. I did not want to spend the price tag on that, so I found a new way to make my own. I just took some pots that I had for some plants around the house. I just have extra of everything. I used my wood burning tool, I guess you can call it a hot knife, to cut out the top. And I added the top of a smaller pot to this vase with some hot glue and E6000 added some spackle to it and painted over the top. I think it came out so good and it doesn't even look like it was three vases put into one. Let me know what you guys think of the end result down below. There really was no strategy to the how I painted this. I just kind of went for it. I did a bunch of layers of a bunch of different colors. You can really use any colors you'd like. I wanted this to look like aged cement pottery type vase. So I think it came out pretty cute. When I started this project, I knew that I was going to need some artwork over the bed. So I shopped my craft room and I found this big canvas. So I'm just gonna paint an abstract painting with the colors that match my bedroom. I had a lot of fun. I have not painted like on a canvas in so long. I definitely think I wanna get back into it because I have so many canvases that I could just use I could sell them, I could put them in my house, give them away as gifts, but it was so fun. I loved it. So I have this huge mirror in my room. It was this dark gray color. It really just did not match the wood accents in my room. So I'm going to spray paint it gold. Um, please excuse this room. It's kind of been a catch-all room. <laughs> All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for, let's decorate. Now I have this um, really pretty gold mirror that came from my great Nana's house after she passed away. So it has some sentimental value and it's so pretty. 
I also got two runner rugs from Martin's, the discount store, and I think that they came out really well. Rugs that are big enough to go around a king size bed are hella expensive. So for these two runner rugs, I paid um, $60, which was not bad at all. And they're good quality and they're actually machine washable, so. And I think I finally cracked the code with how to make my bed look fluffy. Um, I added a bunch of layers, put on this throw blanket, added all of my pillows, and I gotta tell you guys, I feel like I'm in a luxury hotel. So nice. I am obsessed. This painting fit perfectly above the bed. Oh, I love it. The mirror looks so much better gold. It matches the hardware on my credenza. It matches the mirror on the other side of the room. And this vase, guys, I am obsessed. I have a bunch of vases and I'm just gonna do this technique on all of them. I just love it. Now, while this credenza is not perfect, I love it and it looks so good in our room. It actually makes my room feel bigger. I could not tell you why, but it really does. And I just love how I decorated this. I wanted it to be a little bit vintage, a little bit, I don't know, homey. It just looks so pretty. This piece of art was painted by my great Nana who passed away a few years ago. And I finally found a place to put it. And I think it looks so good on this little stand. We actually put our shoes in this stand. The moment we've been waiting for, the results. Let me know what you guys think about this transformation down below. I am obsessed, and now when I go to bed, I just feel so at home. enjoyed this little bedroom makeover I know that I did I am so happy this room definitely looks like a home now so cozy I cannot wait to sleep in here tonight but if you made it this far in this video I want to thank you so much for sticking around I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys have a good rest of the week and until next time I will see you guys later bye we all